we are adapted to the past, all animals are adapted to the past, are the, the genes that made us are genes that have survived through countless generations. You look back on your ancestors, and every single one of your ancestors, not a single one of your ancestors died before achieving at least one heterosexual copulation. <laughs> it's obvious, but it's very significant, because very, very many of their contemporaries died, without, or died young, died without having succeeded in reproducing. So we, we contain the genes that helped our ancestors to survive in the past. Uh, I've got a phrase which appears in the book and several lot of the others of my books, the genetic book of the dead. The genetic book of the dead is the genes in a modern animal which, in a sense, describe the past. There's a, the genes in, in an animal can be thought of as a kind of digital description of the worlds in which the ancestors of the past survived. Not the present and not the future. And as Mary Ellen has just pointed out, emergent properties mean that the future is going to be different. And in the case of human emergent properties, very, very different because we are changing our environment at breakneck pace, uh, much, much faster, I suppose, than any other animal has ever done. In a way, it's amazing that we do s thrive so well in an environment which is radically different from the environment in which our genes survived in the past. <laughs>